would probably take them aside privately and just try and sit them down and teach them a little bit about the history of the sport. It goes all the way back. Track and field was originally how soldiers uh, stayed in shape during peacetime. The implements of war, the javelin, the hammer throw, those are all implements of war and you respect those implements. And running, that's what the foot soldiers did and, and the hurdles. So everybody had sort of a reverence for the sport, show respect for the people you beat because, I mean, one, they don't feel very good about losing and, you know, it could kill their motivation to carry on and they may end up being your friends or teammates someday. And two, it's just not a great way to treat people. Kind of treat them how you want to be treated. And you can probably get, you know, rub an official the wrong way, they could disqualify you. Certainly it doesn't reflect well. You, you can be happy, but you know, you have a whole team that everybody's just, oh, that guy's kind of a jerk. Those, that whole team's jerks. The coach is a jerk. The coach is letting them run with that. So it kind of reflects on other people. And you know, you're probably embarrassing yourself more than you think. So.